<laughs> Welcome to 317. Snelling so. Avenue South in beautiful St. Paul, Minnesota. This is the view from the front door into the house. Notice the luxurious amount of bookcases. And the beautiful and the closet. closet. This is the entrance. We're now going into the kitchen. Look how clean Helene's kitchen is. It's a very efficient galley kitchen, but it opens up to a beautiful eating area off a small deck. Come with me. There's the small deck and the beautiful built-in cupboards built-in cupboards, which are also quite very, they're lazy, lazy Susans and provide ample space for anything you may have in your kitchen. Turning around, we have a small den, separate from the other rooms, the bedrooms in the back. It's the perfect place to relax, watch some television, or play on the computer after people have gone to sleep and you don't want to wake anybody up. And it has these wonderful built-ins. Built-in cabinets. I use these for linens. And down below, well, just trust me, there's a closet in there. That this track, is the door to the basement. That's the door to the basement. This is the door to the attached garage. garage. A beautiful picture window. This is the second bedroom with a closet and a beautiful picture window. And it's kind of roomy. Well, that's because there's only two pieces of furniture in it. <laughs> Down the hallway, we Mary's have the very nice, tidy bathroom, except for the shoes on the floor. And there's Laura. It's a Jack and Jill style bathroom. This is the entry to the master suite and this is the entry back to the hall. Yeah, the master bedroom is Maureen's and it's kind of dark, but I don't want to but it's big. I just don't want to upset all her stuff. And but look at the gorgeous built-ins built here. Dresser drawers. One closet. Oh my gosh, there are two closets. Oh my oh, gosh. My dressing area. There's this other whole dressing room space that connects to the bathroom. In that space, it's hard to tell, but there is a long dresser, a writing desk, a and tall here's, dresser. Here's a writing desk in a nice little nook. And here's a nice long dresser. And, and here we shelf. are back to the bathroom. And uh, by the way, in case you were wondering, yes, the bathroom has doors. It has pocket doors. So you can have your privacy. Privacy. You don't want any shitty old American privacy when you can have good old British privacy. <laughs> Anything else, Elaine? No, I, that's the it for the interior. Um, the outside is just a, a couple of fenced-in yards. They're small, and but they're very nice for the doggies. And the laundry is downstairs. The laundry is downstairs. <coughs> There's a bedroom and a rec room and a bonus room downstairs. Do, should we show them? Okay, we might as well. <coughs> Those are the dogs. Now we're going down the basement steps. It has handles on both sides. And non-skid treads. 
and it's very, very clean. And you have the washer and the dryer. This is the mechanical room with the furnace and the air conditioning and the water heater. That door goes to the bonus room, which is better left unsaid right now. Here's some more space around the laundry room for ironing and things like that. This is the downstairs sitting room area with track lighting and it has a huge storage closet. A ginormous storage closet. And then the downstairs bedroom is very large. It has an egress window and it has two wardrobe closets in addition to that very large storage closet. And then there's a three-quarter bath. Shower. Storage. And then I think it would be worth taking a quick look at the two and a half car garage. Oh, don't forget that two and a half cars? It's two and a half car garage. Here we are inside the two and a half car garage. I'm just opening the door to get some light. It's got the automagical garage door opener. A side entry door. And as you can see, storage shelves all the way around. And this is why it's two and a half car because you can get the two cars plus you have workbench space and storage space in here. Plus, there's a pull down staircase to the garage attic which is also handy for storing additional things. As long as we're here let's take a look at the front of the house and the small front garden. And then on this side of the house, we have beautiful lilac bushes. And the side yard. And then we'll go to the other side of the house where we have the other backyard. Beautiful tree-lined street. Hi! You're just going to, for some reason, Helene left the recycling here. And here is the backyard. With storage shed. And, a be and beautiful little trees and a nice table and garden space. We're currently growing a bumper crop of weeds. And then we have this nice little path along the side. And guess where we're going to end up? Hi, how are ya? Good. Come on in. We're back in the kitchen. Yay. The end. That's the tour. See you guys. Bye.